Hey, what do you know? We're back. We are. Well, if you frequent the same place to eat at least a couple of times a week, you become pretty familiar with the prices on the items that you typically order. But you drive just a few blocks, very same chain, it may be charged more or less for the very same meal. Yeah, our consumer expert Amy Davis is looking into it. She wanted to know why, so she's got her fast food survey. Good morning. Good morning. Really, I just wanted to eat a lot of fast food on Good the company's <laughs> dime, right? Now, we're talking about burgers, nuggets, sandwiches. We ordered a lot of fast food and logged a lot of miles for the story to save you some cash. And we stumbled upon what may be the most expensive McDonald's in our area. How much is a number two combo meal? You know what you like to order. I order the chicken burrito basically every time. But most of the time I order Big Mac. For me, it's the McChicken sandwich, definitely. Uh, there's spicy chicken. I like the $5 box combo. And in Houston, we're ordering fast food a lot. Thank you. Have a nice day. On average, we go through a drive through 18 times a month. We ordered a Big Mac meal at five different McDonald's locations, and we were charged four different amounts. The cheapest from the store on Fry Road at 99, $5.89. The most expensive in Spring Branch on Hammerley was 50 cents more at 6.39. Those locations were several miles apart, but check this out. How much is a number one Pepe combo meal? This Jimmy John's on the Southwest Freeway at Hillcroft charges $7.75 for a Pepe combo meal. But just one exit south, this location charges $8.50. That's 75 cents more. And employees here tell us both locations are owned by the same guy. Ultimately, it's up to the franchisee in terms of their their ultimate pricing decision. The franchise consultant Stephen Maker says owners have some leeway from the parent companies to adjust prices as needed. The two key costs that are going to drive price is going to be the occupancy cost and the lease cost. Just like our survey four years ago, we didn't find any pricing differences at Chick-fil-A locations, and Wendy's also posted the same consistent prices at each location we checked. Okay, so what we didn't find was any pattern that seemed to show that prices are always higher on one side of town than another. It tends to vary, and it's not something franchisees really like to talk about. We reached out to owners at Jimmy John's and McDonald's. Nothing from Jimmy John's, but McDonald's did send a statement explaining kind of what we said. The independent owners and operators set menu prices using many different factors. They say that most restaurants comply when you see an advertised deal like mm. the dollar menu. Mm. But interesting fact here, did you know, because we included in our survey, a 10-count McNuggets is the same price as a 20 count McNugget. I did not know this. Oh no. Yeah. Wow. So I, I mean I had some viewers like check out some of these prices yeah. too for me all over town and and Lynn, I think Lynn Freeman maybe yeah. was, was also like, did you know that? Oh, Extra okay. nuggets. Yeah, you might as well get a 20 count. Why Bring not? Someone's gonna eat them. Aside from the calories. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Share it with a friend. But if you have three kids that all want chicken nuggets, just get the 20 that count. way. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Amy. Sure. Good stuff. 648. Let's get to those nuggets. I'm hungry. I'm going to get some nuggets. Yeah, you go get some nuggets. You know, this morning, it's an awesome morning. It feels so great. Just make sure that you I'm have a 20 pack. I'm coming for your pack. nuggets. Right. You got to make sure you, you share with the whole team, you. Owen.